Hey math fans, Jason Marshall here with an explanation of the brain teaser problem from Math Dude episode 11. In that episode, we continued talking about fractions. In particular, we talked about how to interpret the meaning of the numerator and denominator of a fraction. At the end of the episode, I asked the question, how can you tell if one fraction is larger or smaller than another? For example, is three quarters greater than two thirds? Well, let's go back to our trusted friend, the number line. We're used to looking at the whole line with positive and negative integers spanning out from zero. But now let's zoom in on the part of the number line that goes from zero to one. We can further divide up that region into quarters. So we now see where one quarter, one half, and three quarters are. But how about two thirds? Is it on the left or right of three quarters? Okay, there's actually a fair bit to talk about here. So we'll be devoting a whole episode to this subject in a few weeks. In that episode, we'll talk about why the following works. But for now, I'm just going to tell you the quick and dirty method to help you answer this type of question. The method is called cross-multiplying. Here's how it works. Instead of directly comparing the fractions, let's do the following. First, multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second. 3 times 3 is 9. Write that below. Now, multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first. Two times four is eight. Write that below. Now compare those two numbers. Is the first one greater than the second? It is. So what does that mean? It means the first fraction, three quarters, is also greater than the second, two thirds. That's all there is to it. Now. Let's look at another case where the answer is a bit less obvious. Is 5 eighths greater than 11 sixteenths? Again, let's cross multiply. 5 times 16 is 80, and 8 times 11 is 88. So is 80 greater than 88? No. What does that mean? It means that 5 eighths is not greater than 11 sixteenths. In other words, if we turn those greater than signs into less than signs, we see that 80 is less than 88, and therefore 5 eighths is less than 11 sixteenths. Okay, as I mentioned before, I'll have a lot more to say about what this all really means in an upcoming Math Dude episode. But that's it for now. Until next time, this is Jason Marshall thanking you for checking out this week's Math Dude video extra.